What is up guys, Jose Perez here, Retro Sockney Kicks TV. I'm going to make this video kind of quick because I made a video re uh, just like five minutes ago and it was too long, so hopefully I can make this video kind of short. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick sneaker re review. Uh, over five shoes, five silhouettes that I love. I'm going to go over the Jazz and then the Bangor. Um, the Jazz I'm pretty sure y'all heard of, but the Bangor is kind of more unheard of silhouette. But first off, I'm going to do a quick outfit of the day. So I'm going to just show y'all what I'm wearing today. You know, wore a little jersey type shirt with a 36 on it. Got it, got it at H&M for uh, 30 bucks. Uh-oh, business is booming. <laughs> but 36, um, you know, you got 36, two stripes, two stripes on each sleeve. Um, got a little watch that I bought off eBay for 30 bucks little ring had it off at, at the pawn shop you know I love jewelry love jewelry that's one thing and then my little angels that I got at the mall so I uh, got some faded jeans uh, that I got at Route 21 love love their jeans uh, you can't go wrong they, they got a sale going on now uh, I believe it's buy one get one half off so uh, twenty dollars get one for you know, 10 bucks. So you can't go wrong better than Paxson paying $40 for one pair. So, you know, and then on feet, I got some hoop lows, 2002, you know, pretty nice with that black and white, you know, pretty simple today. And then I got my polo belt, my Ralph Lauren belt. So yeah, pretty simple. None too, too fancy. Um, So let's get into the let's get into the kicks, you know. Um, I have to wrap this up kind of quick, so sorry if I if I make this video too fast, but kind of wrap it up. But first silhouette is the Jazz Two Thousand from nineteen ninety three. Uh, I retired this pair. This is this is um, size nine in men's. Uh, I'm pretty sure you could see that size nine in men's. So um, you know you got the Jazz Two Thousand. The shoe fits me snug, but it fit me too snug that it chipped and cracked in the uh, piece right here. It's, it's like a plastic, like a rubber type plastic material and it chipped off and it fell off. But um, I glued it back and I retired it. When I retire shoes, I simply just, you know, don't wear them. I just, you know, keep them. But I do keep this one clean. I did recently take, um, the shoes that I'm showing you, I did recently just take them to a sneaker convention, sneaker shows. So, you know, you got the outsole in black, midsole, you got that beautiful silver, gray, and then you got the white on each side, and then you got the silver patent leather in the Sockney symbol, and then you got the that teal, blue, green, all, all on the shoe, you know, with that white, and then on the tongue you got the Jazz 2000, that isosceles, that sock Sockney on the side, and then... The white laces and the inside you got that highlighter yellow green I believe it's like a highlighter yellow yeah a highlighter yellow and then you got the little authentic side uh, uh, tag inside the tongue it says Saki performance athletic shoes are for our shoes are designed for athletes of the highest caliber assuring every athlete a standard of excellence in their in their field of play Manufactured worldwide under the exact specifications of Hyde Athletic Industry Incorporated. The Saki name is your assurance of quality materials and workmanship. So, there you go. Um, this shoe on a scale of 1 to 10, quality wise, probably like a 6.9, almost a 7. Um, you know, of course, the looks of it give it like a 9, 9.5. Nice, beautiful silhouette. And, you know, it just pops. It just, you know, it catches the eye really easily. You could throw this shoe on with, you know, you know, some jeans, some jeans, a white t-shirt, a blue t-shirt, or a black t-shirt, and, um, you know, just throw it on. Pretty cool, pretty cool th um, throw on shoe. I, lo I love, I love this, I love this silhouette. So, uh, the next silhouette I'll show you is the Jazz 4000 from 1994. Um... You know, this shoe in comfort is like, from a scale of 1 to 10, it's like a 1,000. Like, this shoe is just freaking amazing. Um, you know, you got that Sockney and that Royal Royal Blue. So, this is a Royal Blue 
Uh, when I say royal blue, I mean royal blue. You know, you got the insole and the all royal blue. I mean, the cushion, the... Man, it's just like when you put this shoe on, it's like putting a pillow on your feet. Like, it, it really means, like, it's just, you know, it's just crazy. And you got the white, you know, you got the white laces, beautiful suede all around the shoe. The suede is, has a minor yellowing on it. I'm pretty sure you could see that. Uh, you can, you know, compare from the white of the mesh. The shoe is mesh, so in case you are wondering, that is mesh. All mesh on the um, toe box, on the outer toe box. Inner toe box, you got that suede all around right here. That all right here is suede, white suede. And you got the suede going all around the shoe, all on the upper of the shoe. On the back, you got that beautiful jazz and that old school lettering type. And then you got the 3M on, t on the back, heel tab, and that royal blue. And then Jazz 4000 with the Running Man, Sock Me, and that royal blue. You know, beautiful silhouette. This shoe, phew, I wear it so much, you know. It's just amazing. You got the track spikes on the bottom. Gives you that nice traction when you step then you got the sock in that royal blue again um i mean and this is what i mean like shoes like these that i i believe i mean these are just like i mean what happened to them you know why doesn't sock bring these back that's what i want to know like jazz 4000 bring the jazz 4000 bring the jazz 2000 back like i mean th that's retro that's re-retroing shoes you know just like jordan how jordan re-retros the ones, the twos, all the way to the to the twelves, to the thirteens. Re retro these, man. They need to bring these back. Comfort, it's just, man. And then when you put these on feet, oh, man, beautiful. Next shoe I'm gonna show you is the 1994 Jazz 5000. Um, so, you know, same. It did. They did drop the same year, but these came out a few months later. Um, so, you know, you got the, this is like a rich blueberry blue all on the shoe. You know, you got the Jazz 5000 on the tongue. Big logo in, under that, on top of that blue, on that dark, dark blue. You got that. This is the first um, Sockney that I've ever seen with a plastic uh, Sockney symbol or logo on the side of the shoe. And it's like a really plastic, it has it on both sides. And then you got got it upper on the you got it on the upper um lace hole, eyelid, whatever, lace lace whatever you want to call it. Uh, got that blue going up on the that dark blue going up on the tongue. Um the shoe is also mesh on the toe box, just a little minor mesh. The tongue is mesh. Um you know you got the heel tab with the that blueberry blue and what's cool is that this part goes all the way back Boom. you can see that right there it goes under the that white um that white leather that you know just covers the whole shoe got two little windows on the side with that peeping that um that blueberry that blueberry blue with that um midsole with that silver you know it, it kind of resembles kind of in a way the jazz 4000 Actually, not really. My bad. I got it confused. It kind of resembles in a way the Jazz 2000. You know, you got the middle. The middle gray. I mean, they're all different, but it's all the same series. It's just different silhouettes. That's what's trippy. You know, you got the Jazz 5000, 2000. And I believe they have a Jazz. There's a Jazz 1000, but it's just considered the Jazz. And then it's the Jazz 2000. Jazz 3000, Jazz 4000, Jazz 5000, Jazz 6000. I don't know. I don't know if there's a Jazz 7000, but I know there's a Jazz 8000. So I'm pretty sure there's gonna, there's gonna be a Jazz 7000. But that's the Jazz 5000. You know, I got the outsole in that dark, dark blue. I love. I, this is my favorite. This one's really dear to my heart. This is my first OG. You know, Sockney. I had. A couple of GRs, you know, from 2013, 12, 12, 13, and 14. No, it wasn't 14s, I'm sorry. It was a 2011s, 
done tens, elevens, and twelves. That's when I started collecting them. But I had I had just original GRs, but now I have you know mostly all OGs. I'm trying to collect all the OGs before I start buying GRs. I think my last GR was a grid, you know, like a dark blue grid, like a recent 2015. But I, I mean, quality now is just. I don't even know. I don't even want to talk about it. <laughs> but this is the um, next shoe, sorry. This is the next shoe I was going to show you. This is the 1992, I believe. It's a 1992 Bangor Main. Um, beautiful, beautiful shoe. You know, you got the sock me and that outsole, black outsole. A little bit of traction spike, spikes. Uh, the spikes are kind of more thin. You can barely see them. The other ones are really nice and thick. These have less, I mean, uh, less less traction, but more comfort. These and the Jazz 4000 are just beyond comfort. I believe the Jazz 4000 does beat it, though. The Jazz 4000 is just, I can't explain how comfortable that shoe is. That shoe is just outstandingly comfortable. Uh, you know, you got the Bangor in that silver type colorway going on. But this shoe is more harder to wear. The other shoes are kind of more simple, you know, dark blue. Uh, ro uh, royal blue and then you got the teal greenish blue nowadays you know you can find all those colors but this this color I mean I know some people say oh it's a gray but it's not a gray it's more like a silver type gray I don't know even I don't even know how to explain it but it's not a gray a gray is like I don't have nothing gray I really don't have nothing gray to compare it with but a gray is you know it's it's way off you know it's it's just way off between them um, the insole, you got the that silverish gray. I don't even know what to call it, to be honest. You got the inside sock me staring at you. I don't wear these a lot. I used to wear my OGs all the time because at one point that's all I had. Now I have more, you know, not OGs, but I have 2008s, 2007s, 5s, 3s, you know. And I just, you know, switch up. Sometimes I even wear the same shoe all the time. Because, I mean, I just, I don't like... You know, because then I have to clean them, and it's just it just gets you know too out of hand. So I just try to, I mean I don't try not to wear my shoes, but of course I do I do wear my shoes. But um, you know, well you got that white suede all around the shoe, beautiful beautiful shoe. You got the black and that outsole, and you got the black and the sock me, and you got the three M. In the back, you got that silver crazy, that silver, I don't know what to call it, gray, silver, chrome, I guess like a chromish color, I don't know, but it's a beautiful sock and bangor, 1993, and then I do have another version of this shoe, there's some, there's a couple versions of this shoe, uh, there's probably like, hmm, I haven't seen a different colorway, I've seen a I've seen a purple colorway and a pink colorway, but those are women's colorway, and um, you know you got the this is, this is more like an ocean blue. I believe in my eyes this is a sample. Uh, I don't want to say it's not a sample, but I mean I think it's a sample because I've only seen two pairs of these. I've seen an ocean blue uh, this pair and then the another pair that was eight and a half. But you know this is kind of like an ocean blue colorway. Um, with that forest green on that sock me logo and then in the inside you got that forest green you know you got that forest green in the insole you got the white on the inner inner outer edges whatever you want to call it so yeah I mean um, I don't know if this is a sample I'm not saying it is I believe it is because I've only seen a few like I mean, not a few. I've only seen another pair besides this one, and it was an eight and a half. This is a size ten in men's. I've only worn this shoe once. It is, it was a pre-owned shoe. I get all my shoes on eBay, so I got it off eBay. I got it for twenty nine dollars, so I got it for an epic steal. Um, you know, you got the just. I mean, this suede. The suede on this shoe is probably from a one to ten. Like I said, the Jazz four thousand, a thousand. Like you know what I'm saying, like. It's just unexplainably just buttery, man. I'm telling you, like, I don't know. I don't even know. I don't know how to explain it, but 